represent Oklahoma the way that they need to, and Caleb has shown every one of those. Fantastic. Caleb uh, does well there. Then he may just qualify for the World Games. Wish him the best of luck. We do indeed. Greatest sprinter of all time. Going to reach the finish line of his career at the World Championships this weekend. He's nearly 31 years old and uh, unbeaten in three Olympics. Usain Bolt predicting one last victory in the 100 meters. Bolt held a news conference uh, yesterday announcing the big information. Is there a part of you even now looking back at your career you think, I may have even done that even faster. <laughs> Personally, no. You know what I mean? Uh, when you have the world record, is I never really think, oh, I should have run faster. I think my coach said that once, mm -hmm. that I uh, underperformed, didn't he? <laughs> well, he did great. The World Championships start tomorrow in London. It'll be fun to watch. Maybe we'll have some of the video coming up on Monday. He is the greatest of all time. No doubt about that. <laughs> All right, look at the weather. Okay, so right now we still have to deal with the showers. This is your forecast here. This is the rain chances broken down for your weekend because you know what? It's Friday morning. A lot of folks have plans this evening, dinner, movies, the first art crawl or the first uh, Friday of the month art crawl. That is tonight. So 20% chance here in the metro for showers continuing through the 8 to about 10 o'clock time frame. Then the afternoon looks pretty good. We have a break for the afternoon, but Saturday, that's when things start to crank right back up again. For Saturday, we have a system coming in. And with that, we're actually going to see shower chances increase in the afternoon. It'll be scattered showers and then eventually storms that develop. We'll have to watch some of those storms pretty closely because they could become strong to severe. That boundary that moved through yesterday, remember the showers and storms we had yesterday evening? Well, that will come back. That boundary will move back to the north and then we'll get those showers and storms to develop. But in the morning for your Saturday, just mostly some shower activity possible. But then in the afternoon, we'll watch for those storms. Sunday, that's when things really start to crank up with a wave that moves out of the Rockies on Sunday. That wave will actually enhance our rain chances. We'll have some very heavy rainfall expected Saturday night into early Sunday morning. This system will slowly move off to the east on Sunday, so expect the heavier rainfall to be really to the east of Tulsa by Sunday afternoon into Sunday night and then even into western Arkansas. Two to four inches of rainfall possible by Monday, so we could have some pretty heavy rainfall to deal with. Back to our rain mediogram, so 20% chance through the 8 o'clock hour. By Saturday, things increase to about 20 to 40 percent in the afternoon. And then look at this. That's Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon. Heavy rainfall expected here. So for our seven day planner, 20 percent chance for your Saturday increases Saturday night into Sunday. Those cooler temperatures rich though they last through next weekend. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. So, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Tulsa's great wrap race is coming up next month.